Hey guys, so I have a ton of empties today and it's going to be the empties in the past like month and a half and I'm just going to get started with this and this is a candle. It is the scent Sugared Cinnamon Candle and I think this is from TJ Maxx or Marshalls but yeah, it smells great and I loved burning it. The next couple of things, I have a lot of stuff actually and it's all in this bag, this urban bag. So I'm just going to start digging in, in no particular order. This is a nail polish remover, non-acetone, and it's by Up and Up, the Target brand. I think it worked well. It wasn't anything amazing to write home about, so I'm not sure if I would repurchase it, but the acetone is, like, healthier for your nails, but the, the non-acetone is healthier for your nails because the acetone actually helps get off glitter and anything that, like, is needs more stronger removal. Then I have these face wipes, the Yes to Cucumbers, and these are the travel size. This is a 10-pack. It worked pretty well. Um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase these, but I did like them. The scent's pretty strong, though, if you're, like, sensitive to scents at all. This is a Johnson's Baby Shampoo, and this is great because it's a 15 fluid ounce bottle. It's pretty cheap, and I use it for cleaning my makeup brushes, and it works perfectly. It's really sensitive because it's for babies as gentle on eyes as pure as water, so I love to use this for my um, makeup brushes and cleansing them. I have these 100 count cotton rounds, and these worked pretty well. They're just regular basic cotton rounds, so I would repurchase them again. This is a sample of the Dior Forever and Ever Primer. This was great because it did help mattify me. Sometimes I get a little oily in the T-zone, and it definitely helps calm down the oiliness, and um, I loved it. I would definitely think about purchasing it, and it definitely helped oil control. These one-a-day women's um, multi-gummies, I really loved them. They're great. I did repurchase these, and I will keep, continue to repurchase them. These are the Salon Perfect Perfectly Glamorous Demi Wispy Fake Eyelashes, and I love these. I used these about six or seven times, which is awesome. So um, I definitely would pick them up again. They were only like $2.50 at Walmart, so super cheap. This is a Detox Dry Shampoo Dry Bar. This is my favorite dry shampoo by far. It's pretty expensive. I think it's about 25 bucks for this bottle, and this is the full size. It's 3.5 fluid ounces. It works great. I really don't see any white cast, and it keeps my hair from getting too greasy looking. And I already did repurchase this, and I will continue probably forever because it's my all-time favorite dry shampoo. This is another candle. This is the Tess Home Soy Candle Rustic Cottage. I really liked it. I would repurchase it. I love Tess Home. It's a local shop in New Jersey near the shore. So if you guys are ever there, just check it out. It's great. They have great furniture, clothes, and candles. It's just a really great store. I finished some foundations. This is the Lancome, and this is just their tint. I'm not really sure. It was okay. Nothing to write home about. I didn't really like fall in love with it. This is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. And this is in medium to deep a sheer tint. And it has 30 SPF. So I used this when I was away in the sun. And when I wanted to get the SPF and knew I only wanted a light coverage because I didn't want anything greasy or thick on me. So this was great. I actually have the one that's for acne prone skin. And that's in the blue packaging. So I did pick that up. So I guess I did kind of repurchase it. It just has a little bit of a different formula, but I absolutely love this, and I think it's great. Because I don't think enough foundations, especially drugstore, have SPF in them. This is the Dior Hydro Life Cream Sorbet, um, Pro Youth Sorbet Cream, and this is just a face moisturizer. It smells great. It smells fresh. It lasted me such a long time. This lasted me, like, probably, like, six to eight months. It's amazing and a little goes a long way and it doesn't leave my face greasy and it's great for anyone that's like younger and has like normal combo skin so I would highly recommend that and it's only 60 bucks which sounds kind of expensive but for high-end prestige brands like Dior or Chanel I think that's really good priced this is Pretty Nails Regular and this is a conditioning formula instant polish remover 
and it just looks like this. This is the one where you dip your finger into it and it's a cushion. I think this worked really well. It's great for traveling or if you're just going on weekend trips, I would highly recommend this. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. I love this one and the black one the best, but this one's great especially for spot treating, so I would definitely recommend just Glam Glow in general. It's one of my favorites. This is a face powder, and this is the Revlon um, Color Stay, and this one is in Translucent. It's just a regular pressed powder, and I loved it. I think it was great. I would repurchase it. It just took a while to go through, so that's the only thing. And when it started to get to the bottom and hit pan, it started to crumble, so that's another kind of minus thing. Then I have... A lot of eye things. So I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand. And I loved this for under the eyes just for brightening. I don't have much dark circles luckily. But I definitely use this for brightening under my eyes. And it sticks and it doesn't get cakey or anything like that over time. This is the Bella OG Makeup Liner. And this is from Italy. Um, it worked pretty well. So I would maybe recommend this. I definitely have better ones. This is the Wet n Wild Define Marker Mega Eyes. I hated this. I would not repurchase this. I would not even recommend this. I used it about twice and I decided not to because first of all the color didn't come out that well. Second of all the marker was really stiff on my eye so I felt like I was pulling and tugging at my eyelid and it just didn't feel comfortable and it wasn't right. Then I have the Lancome this this is the oscillating one, so it vibrates, which is really cool, and this primer is great. I would definitely repurchase it. This is my second tube of this. Then I have two eyebrow things. One is the Maybelline Define a Brow, which I thought was pretty good. I liked it, and this is in medium brown. And then the other one is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I think is the closest dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil, and I would highly recommend this. I already repurchased it. And mine's in the color Espresso, and I'm wearing it right now. I have two more face wipes, and these are the Neutrogena Oil-Free Cleansing Wipes in Pink Grapefruit. They worked great. I love them. I have another moisturizer, and this is the Good Jeans. And this one I was using on and off, and but this is by Sunday Riley. It smells great. It works good. I love it. I... Didn't see that much difference in my skin, but I feel like it definitely works, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I might purchase this. It's just really pricey, so I think I'm going to hold off on that one. This is a sugar scrub that my friend made, and it's a rosemary mint coconut sugar scrub, and it was great. It had little leaves of, like, rosemary in them, and it smells phenomenal, so if she does give me the recipe, I will post that down below here and link it in, but... I loved it. I just wanted to include it in here. Then I have a couple more. These are the Ardell Natural 124. They're not in here, but I really like them. And I love Ardell lashes. But I think I'm going to stick to the Salon Perfect ones because they're cheaper and they work just as fine. This is the moisturizer um, by Clinique. I thought it was okay. I wasn't in love with it. This is the Shiseido SPF. Um... 50. Love this. I definitely would get this for the summertime. It worked great. You only need a little. I think I used this three times, this little sample, so a little does go a long way. This is just a cleansing towelette. It was whatever. Nothing special. And then I have this Socha & Gabbana Light Blue Energy Body Shower and Bath Gel. This was great. I would definitely buy it. It smells amazing, and I would purchase this. Then I have the Phoenician Body Lotion Clarifying with Grapefruit and Eucalyptus. I love it. I would purchase this. I'm not sure where I would get it because it's from the hotel, but I loved it and it smells amazing. Then I have one more thing and this is just a small eyeliner. It became a nub and this is the Urban Decay Zero. I liked it, but it's not my favorite black eye pencil eyeliner, so I would not repurchase it. So those are all my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye.